tiger mother. What the Chinese parent is saying to their child is, I believe in you so much that I know you can be excellent, and I'm going to be in the trenches with you for however long it takes. That's Amy Chua, author of the book Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother. Her strict parenting methods have touched off a firestorm. To help us sort this all out, George James from the Council of Relationships is here to tell us what should we think of what this author is saying now. She seems to be indicating that Americans are coddling their children as opposed to Chinese or Asian parents. What do you think? You know, I think it's very interesting. Obviously, that's just from her perspective, and because I see so many people who their parenting style, for the most part, starts with their parents, and that's how we learn. And so, there's value in our parents and what they've given us and what they've shown us. So, some people if might. If it feel, worked for you. If it worked, right? That's where we start. But most likely, that's that's what we know and that's what we use. So, for her, maybe it was her parents or her Chinese culture. For other people, it could be what they experienced in their neighborhood. But it's something that that's where most people start with as their foundation. But you know, it's interesting because I've heard her interview and she says, we assume strength in our children and Americans assume um, some weakness. You know, that, oh, you're not, it's not that bad or you did fine instead of going, you needed to do, you need to do that better. You need to study right. harder. Right. You need to practice more. You know, once again, I, I think that's a general statement. Uh, there are people or clients that I work with where th that wouldn't be the case because they do have high expectations. Sometimes some parents have too high of an expectation, meaning that they want their whole identity is based in the success mm. of their children. And as a result, there's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of wanting the child to perform. And it keeps the child from really just being able to connect and have real relationship with them. So is it okay to parent in your own way? As opposed to saying, wait, I've got to, I've got to be tougher. I've got to adapt. You know, the, that's adapt definitely the stuff. my suggestion to a lot of parents that it's okay to add your own style, your own way of parenting, which could be different than your culture, different than your neighborhood, different than your neighbor even, or different than your brother or sister. It's okay to come up with your way of how you want to parent, knowing that you might take on some things from your parents, but also add some new things. What's wrong with expecting excellence? Expecting a it's a good thing to expect A's, to expect excellence, and to even uh, try to encourage a child to do that. But once again, if you get so focused in your own identity in their success, meaning mm -hmm. that if they get an A, I'm a good person. If they get an A, I'm mm -hmm. a good parent. Now it's really more about you than mm -hmm. the child. So it's important to really encourage the child to do well for them, for their own benefit, not for your own identity. I see what you're saying. You also say it's not your mistakes but your reactions that count. What do you mean? The thing for a lot of parents is that I don't want to make a mistake. I want to be perfect and I want my child to be perfect. But the thing is, none of us are perfect. You're going to make a mistake. You're going to do something wrong. You're going to say something wrong. You're going to maybe not encourage your child the right way. But it, the important part is how do you react to it? Are you able to come back to your child and say, I'm sorry, or I messed up, or let's try this again, or let's do this a different way? Because most parents struggle in that aspect. Is that, yeah, is it important to be able to say, I'm sorry to your kid because I know when I was growing up, mm -mm, right. parents were right and they never... Right. There's a way how to be wrong. able to admit that maybe you could have done something better because that a lot when you listen to a lot of children, sometimes they don't see that humanity in their parents and they wish they saw that. So now when they become parents, they feel they need to do the same thing versus if the parents said, look, I messed up. I'm still holding you accountable, but I did something that was wrong as well. It's That's very good advice. George James, Council for Relationships. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back.